But last but not least on this week's countdown at number 21, how about a first-time Stanley Cup champion and first time ever on our top 50, Gustav Forsling, and not just in our countdown, but all the way up at 21. Yeah, super cool story with this guy, right? Like just the evolution of him, how he came to be this stud defenseman. I mean, there are stretches over the last two years where you heard his name whispered in Norris Trophy talk, right? Like this is a guy that he, he did a lot of things. Now, for him to bust on this list right here, that's pretty significant. That's very high. I, I maybe have him down a little bit, but that's no knock to what this guy does. I mean, the, the plus 56 rating, and we always talk about plus minus. Plus minus, I believe, does not matter unless it's absurd one way or the other. Plus 56, that's absurd. That's where it comes into play. If you're plus 25, meh. You know what I mean? Like, But if you're minus 25, that's bad, right? Like, so it's, you know, you start looking at those things, but this guy, he's got a heck of a shot. He defends well. He could do a little bit of everything, and I think he's a big, big reason why this Florida Panthers team has gone back to back finals. Outside of Florida, maybe, maybe not a household name. Based off of what he did last year and what he could do this year, do you think he joins the conversation of some of the elite defensemen that we have in the league? Um, I don't know if I, I don't think his offensive production will allow him to be in the consideration of a uh, Roman Yossi, uh, Kale McCarr, mm -hmm. you know, talking about Adam Fox. Like, I, I just think nowadays when we're talking about MVPs, we're talking about Norris Trophy winners, all that stuff. I, we're, it's a different stage of the game here. We're, we're, points matter. Mm -hmm. And he certainly gets points. Don't get me wrong. I mean, and he loves a lot of shots. He hammers that puck. Um, and he's a big reason to drive offense for this team. But I just don't think he's ever going to be in that consideration because I just don't see him being a 90 point defenseman like and that's usually where these conversations go all right when he's on his game playing his game at the best visibility what is he doing well on the ice everything I mean he's doing everything well you know I mean he's defending he's hard to play against I mean guys always joke around about how chiseled he is he's built like he's strong and you know that and you talk to guys and, and when you look at him you, you don't necessarily think that but when you get in a puck battle you can't lift his stick. Mm -hmm. He's winning those puck battles. And, and that allows his team to play less in their defensive zone. Like, he, he will kill plays, get the puck up ice. And then when they get in the offensive zone, he's certainly capable of getting involved offensively. So I, I guess the easy answer is he does everything really well. He's a well-rounded defenseman in the National All right, salary cap era. Uh, all good things have to come to an end at some point. When you win a Stanley Cup, there are departures, roster turnover. The way that this uh, back end looks for Florida – do they have what it takes again to be in that conversation to go back to back? It's going to rely heavily on him. Can he still play at that level that we saw this past year, really the past two seasons? What's Eki look like? Can Aaron Ekblad be healthy? Um, can he, you know, I think Aaron Ekblad's got, he, we know that he's dealt with injuries. I think he's still got another level to him. Um, they have a lot of replacements. I mean, there's no, no riffs about it. I mean, you, OEL. Brandon Montour, those are big factors to this team. So, uh, yes, they can. They bring in Nate, Nate Schmidt. Mm -hmm. You got Adam Boquist. Let's see if we can kind of get this thing going and a fresh start for him. Uh, but to start this season, I think a lot of it's going to fall on Gustav Forsling. And can he be that horse that takes those minutes, do, does all those things to let those guys move in smoothly? It's going to be a struggle, I think.